Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. Today we are working on 2013 Jeep Patriot and as you see I'm trying to diagnose the uh, headlight uh, problem. Uh, everybody knows that uh, these Jeeps that uh, was produced from I believe 2007 till uh, 2016 or something like that. Um, so Patriot and uh, compasses they all have bad ground issues and the main points are right here oops it starts smoking uh, i left the light on in the plastic but it's no problem so the the main point the main point on this side is gonna be i'm just gonna try to focus on it and I'm gonna point it. There is a one over there that there is a 10 millimeter knot on the frame, and um, yeah, it's right there. In order to get easy access to that uh, ground point, you will have to remove the uh, coolant reservoir and the windshield washer reservoir. It's easy to do. There's a, a 13 millimeter bolt right here, 13 millimeter bolt right there, and. Uh, couple hoses and connectors you can just pull it out leave it on the side somewhere and gain easy access to that uh, point now you all you have to do you will have to cut that uh, that uh, connector that terminal and make your own or if you don't have that time or uh, kind of lazy to do you can simply run new ground to the connector as you see I'm pulling on the harness and it's right there, right there, it's, it's, that's it, no more ground and, um, and I'm gonna have to go and actually uh, cut the connector because I'm gonna, I like to fix things right and I'm gonna uh, put new terminal, solder it and uh, uh, clean the point and uh, hopefully it's gonna be fixed. Uh, I already fixed uh, several of them like this, and uh, it's a common issue. It can uh, it can be all different issue. Also, uh, you're gonna have some. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> the light is on again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the light off. So I know what the problem is already. In this case, this car has uh, 83,000 miles. It's not a lot of miles, but the uh, the uh, uh, ground wires uh, on the har electric harness from the factory was uh, not insulated uh, against the uh, elements, against the bad weather and uh, salt that we have in uh, New Jersey. So the weather easily destroys the wiring here and uh, it just simply causes electrical problems in the car. So. Uh, uh, you don't need special equipment, all you need just probably the test light, but sometimes uh, the test light may give you false indication for the bad ground, so you're gonna have to hook up a, a, a light bulb, like a 55 watt light bulb, probably run the wire from the, from the positive terminal to the ground point, if you know what it is. In this case, in this case, it's... Uh, it's a middle black wire black wire with the purple strap yeah, it's a black and purple wire in the middle and you can uh, you can remove the bulb and uh, remove the bulb and simply insert the uh, uh, the wire from the bulb you're going to be testing to the middle uh, middle pin and uh, the other side you have to hook up to the to the positive terminal of the battery to get the positive connection so you run the bulb strong bulb to this uh, to this connector to find out the bad ground so this is it pretty much and uh, i'm going to redo the ground i'm going to show you how it looks 
when I'm doing it, I'm gonna take probably a couple pictures and um, I will go from there. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day.